Speaking strengths. Very good evening from Jerusalem. Today, we have a very special meeting. Being together in a circle, the Hikal group, some of us in one physical space, and some of us being in extended circle. And yet we are all together. Today we will work as one planetary group, being in one large circle. So let us begin. Welcome, friends. It's really a special opportunity to be all of us together, the whole core group here in Jerusalem, even though some things worked out differently than what we had in mind. Um, some of us are a bit sick. So today we will, we will uh, focus on the basics, which is the unified heart. Yeah, this day, the last day of the year, was, if I recall right, the first focal point for global meditations back in the 80s. It was the day of global healing and global mm -hmm. peace. So it's wonderful to build on that. And so today we will we will link into the basic energy that was streaming through Jerusalem from from very ancient times and is still so, even though um, with all the turmoil on the surface we may not be aware of it, but together now in meditation, we can become aware of it and use it for unity. So let us enter into our inner silence. Breathing, sitting well in our physical body. Opening to the earth energies beneath our feet, wherever we find ourselves on this planet being united through the earth grid. And being one in the loving embrace of the mother of the world. Heart opens and mind is at peace. As souls in incarnation, we glow with warm golden light. Let us now come together in our etheric temple within the aura of Jerusalem, our outpost of light and love and purpose. Relaxing into each other's heart.
into the group heart. Relaxing our thinking. Gently synchronizing Standing together in each other's presence as souls in shared intent. We are aware of our role in the great network of spiritual focus points around the planet. And let us visualize this network of world workers being especially united and focused today. And inviting now into our consciousness the presence of our ashramic co-workers who stand with us in this work. taking up our position at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below. And tuning now our hearts and our minds to the very high note, which is coming through Jerusalem behind all the outer turmoil. Visualizing it as a huge stream of golden healing energy, a vortex of pure love, of a thick golden light. Let us take a few moments in silence, in receptivity, absorbing this healing, unifying energy, releasing all else.
Gently refocusing at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below. Letting our group field be saturated with this pure golden healing love. Holding a space of stability and silence for a few moments. Let us visualize now this stream of golden unifying love pour down into the city of Jerusalem. See little golden deva builders help us weave it into the aura of Jerusalem. Unifying, making whole. See the aura of Jerusalem glow with warm golden light. And we affirm unity. The souls of all are one. And we are one with them. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact due service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love.
Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Visualize a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into the whole area of Israel and Palestine. Making hearts golden, lifting minds into unity consciousness. See the golden wave spread further into the nations of the Middle East, unifying and reordering. Seeing the wave expand eastwards, qualifying the etheric body of the planet as it does, Let us visualize a golden band connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. And tracing the band further from Darjeeling to Tokyo. Further to New York. to London, to Geneva, and back to Jerusalem. Let us visualize the unifying wave continue to flow throughout the etheric body of the planet, connecting us all, unifying us all. And we complete with the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. מנקודת האור, אשר בדעת אל, יזרום האור אל דעת האדם, ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה, אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש, ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, תוגשם תוכנית האהבה והאור ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדם. من نقطة النور في العقل الإلهي ليشع النور في عقول الناس وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع سيد الآتي إلى الأرض
من المركز الذي تعرف منه إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندعم بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men. Let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth.
Thank you, friends, for this special meditation. It will be very inspiring to hear your impressions of it. So we invite you to unmute yourself or you will. Um, um, to raise your hands and we will unmute you. And please let us know if there is a problem with the sound. Uh, we will be to one computer. Aloha, this is Kathy from, from Hawaii. The heart quality was tangible, golden, quite, quite beautiful and powerful. And the intention, the guidance of, of the meditation was just so pitch perfect uh, for what everything in my heart would wanted for wants for Jerusalem and for the Middle East and for our planet. And it was a great honor to participate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Margo, please unmute yourself. Thank you. Yes, this is Margo from Canada. When the golden energy was circling from planetary inlet to planetary inlet and back to Jerusalem, and an image of a big heart encircled with a golden bow. At the beginning, when when we relaxed into each other's hearts and into the hearts of the group. It, it felt as, as if something shifted in the entire field so that more love could be embodied on this planet. Thank you. Thanks, Margot. Sabina, please unmute yourself. My beloved friends in Jerusalem and all the friends here in all nations who are in this webinar. Um there was a very strong vibration with the golden shower down on Jerusalem. And there was coming one word and I, I received it in English and in Arab. And this is mercy or Rahman, a Rahman, a Rahim. And I was told, I was told that the Arabian word is related with the uterus. So our big, big field between all these outposts where we are listening from in this moment, we're filled with a golden wave and we all may be this uterus who brings it out there. So a big under the heart, big space together. And um, that's my greeting from Italy tonight. Thank you, Uta, for the meditation. 
Thank you all for being there. It's a special night tonight to be with you. Sabina, grazie mille. Hello, everyone. This is Andrea from Florida, United States. And much like Margot, I was just taken with that golden light. And as it struck the planetary centers, for me, the visual was a burst of firework. And within that firework, which was so, which was totally silent, it just created this spider web that would extend in all directions from those centers and then create this beautiful network that just encased the globe with that golden net. And like all of you, I could not be more grateful to be with you today. Um, so grateful for the work that we have the opportunity and the responsibility and the joy of, of doing together in this lifetime and, and bringing so much light into this world and with so much promise for the next year as we watch it unfold. Thank you so much, Uta, and all of you. So much love to all of you. Thanks, Andrea. This golden light today linked me back to um, Daniela's first um, uh, webinar uh, of Egypt, of Hato. It's right, yeah? Yeah, it has the same energy. Mm -hmm. This love, this Rahman. <laughs> yeah, oh, beautiful. And that please unmute yourself. Thank you. Heartfelt gratitude to all of you gathered there in Jerusalem and for calling us to this sacred circle today as we honor and celebrate the closing of 2022 and step with both feet and all of our one heart into the new era in 2023. And for me as well, when as you speak of beauty, Uta, that, that is what just washed through the circle and the world as the planetary centers from the heart of Jerusalem and the heart of a u very unified world group in this moment waved around the world and draws all of us and all humanity and in fact all life into the sacredness of this moment. And as we invoke the spirit of peace and as we feel the presence ever of the mother of the world and her healing balm for all of her children, our united heart work through this coherent field, focused through the center, the group center of the group of world servers. It makes my heart sing and this will stay with me uh, throughout these next 24 hours, this golden thread, this beautiful weave and waves, Jerusalem and the planetary centers wrapping dear Gaia 
in a loving embrace. Thank you. And I'm calling in from the USA. Thank you, Dot, for these weaving words. We feel very close. <laughs> Hi, this is a flat from Jerusalem. I just want to, to share the special uh, feeling to have uh, the group here with us in Jerusalem. Usually it's Helen and me here and holding subjectively all of you. And now to be really together uh, such a beautiful and i'm so grateful for you coming here and for all of you participate with this thank you Thank you, friends, for this deep ongoing meditation. I send my greetings and best wishes from Argentina in South America. Much love to you all. Thank you. Thank you. As much as we all became very native to work subjectively and link in Zoom rooms and learn to work with the energy of thought through distance, but it's indeed a special gift to be together. To feel the palpable energy of the group heart and yet recognize the challenges of everyday life and Uta mentioned at the beginning that some of us got sick and it's not been an easy few days uh, for the group here but also it was recognizing the challenges of people living here in Jerusalem and people living here in Israel and Palestine. And what probably easy to imagine and visualize as a mm, the energy of peace that comes here into Jerusalem. It's very different when you see it here and recognize how many challenges we humans need to learn to overcome 
before they had that peace has actually become a reality. Though it was very interesting uh, observation today as we walked in the old city and um, as any big tourist attraction, it, it, there, it attracts crowds of people. And where there are crowds of people, there are crowds of merchants who want to sell you things. And it's not, as you probably know, not very comfortable feeling when you someone wants to sell you something too hard. But as soon as we... Uh, left that part of the city where these touristy um, streets were and just went through Arab quarters where there were no just noisy shops and just was normal life. It was so different. Suddenly there we could feel peace and kids were playing football with Americans now as soccer and uh, there were mm, Laundry were on the lines, and so it's, there was peace. And so it was interesting, just realization that where somehow money makes things more complicated. Mm -hmm. And uh, at some point, when we were sitting, sipping tea very close to the dome of the rock. On, to Al-Aqsa Mosque. I read in the news that today is the last day of Kala Chakra, that his holiness Dalai Lama was delivering in Badgaya in India. And if you know, it's a very transformative practice. Probably one of the most powerful practices in Tibetan Buddhism. And somehow the strike of energy connected Jerusalem with uh, Badgaya and that energy of shambolic peace kind of struck like a lightning. And there was realization that it's it's always there. It's this power of this eternal peace. It's something very different. But it's present here and now. Um, Kathy Kaufman, New York, uh, Jerusalem. And to me, this energy today is really reverberating with Darjeeling Center. This presence of that 
you know, in Kala Chakra is called other, the other, the other will, the cosmic portal. So there's an opening connected with that center. An exchange between Jerusalem and Darjeeling. And uh, for the moment in meditation, there was completely no sense of time, just presence. So very grateful for all this shared with the group and with all of us. Heart to heart, shoulder to shoulder. Thank you. Greetings, friends. This is Darcy calling in from the USA. I'm deeply grateful for the golden circle that presented itself today. And what came for me was the golden dome of Temple Mount and its significance. And there's a prophecy in the book of Isaiah that foretells the international importance of the Temple Mount. And it says, and it shall come to pass in the end of days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow onto it. And many peoples shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That golden wave. In my mind's eye was centered around that mount. And sustains. And waves through all. Of our nations. I'm deeply grateful for what we were able to call forth and send forth into the world through our loving intention. Thank you, Darcy. Um, I wanted to comment on, Katya, what you said. Um, a portal. I don't know if you said a portal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. So so uh, Jerusalem uh, is also known as, uh, as a portal to, to another dimension. And this this golden that comes through there, um, yeah, can wake up something that is here forever, but we have not, uh, we are not in touch with it. Also in ourselves, the goldenness, the golden heart in ourselves, and also in the earth. So I feel that today, a little bit more of this portal has opened, and uh, something has 
is now streaming more than I experienced before. Thank you. So Daniela here in Jerusalem right now, and to continue the conversation, Tim and Katya, <clears throat> during the meditation, this there, there was this golden ring that I saw in a hill. I don't, I cannot tell which hill, but in a hill, and and it um, the light was not light anymore, but sand golden sand that 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 some uh, maybe yeah like a dust or I, I'm not sure but sand came to mind and it 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 pervaded this 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 environment here and now that you say portal or that you and both Katya and you talked about portal actually that is how it looked like a like a portal mm -hmm. And other than that, it is so Do you beautiful. think it's going to be okay for us tonight? To be well, yeah. Do you think it's going to be okay for us the class tonight? Okay. <laughs> so it's super beautiful to, to be meditating together. Mm -hmm. And I cannot believe that we never saw each other before. <laughs> yeah. It is so... And the meditation itself was so profound. I don't know if, if it's because we are together, possibly also, you think? Maybe it is because we are together and uh, probably, but also uh, I am full of uh, gratefulness uh, also for all the sharing and um, for this uh, wonderful opportunity of being here on this day, the last day of the year, <clears throat> I felt like uh, there has always been in those working groups of ours um, pillars of uh, loving fire and will. And um, today I felt that uh, the, the pillar that I perceive here has been uh, um, um, aired and fed and and the fire is kept alive and um, that's it and it goes up and up and up uh, and um, takes uh, takes our intentions and our will and um, our open hearts to the next step to the next year and thank you all for being here and sharing this is Helen from Jerusalem <laughs> There's one more thing I wanted to share. Um, it's a, a photo that um, we took uh, today. Um, I'll try to show now on the screen. As now it's on the screen. So it's a view uh, the old city from, I don't know what is the place, this promenade. Promenade, uh, yeah. Thailand. And 
And so when we were there, I suddenly saw that this central part of uh, the city reminds like a chalice. I don't know if you can see my uh, cursor, yes. So you see here, it's the Temple Mount. And with Alex Mosque right here. But if you see this shape, it's like chalice. And uh, on the side of the chalice, here on this side is Ascension Mount. It's a place where Christ ascended. And on this side, it's uh, what is this Benedictine monastery? Yes, Domitian Abbey. Domitian Abbey. And so I suddenly saw that this, the, the Temple Mount, it's in the heart of the chalice. Okay, thank you. Oh. And it was just what I wanted to share. Beautiful picture. Thank you for sharing that. It's an extraordinary photograph and it brings all of us who are not right there smack beside you, right there beside you. <laughs> and, and I just, have to say because as I sit so far away from all of you and yet so right with you I'm again so grateful and I think about the wonder and the magic of the purpose that brings us together in this moment in space in time that I think we all planned to do and that it is part of the eternal life that we are all a part of the oneness that is that goes on and on and on in infinity and yet lands in these extraordinary moments in time and space where we have the revelation of knowing what we're doing so thank you so much just so magical and that picture just puts it right there thank you it's <laughs> very true, Andrea, and it is very strong sense that it's, yeah, it's, the time is now. And if we don't do now things that we, we're supposed to do while we came here, and we not to be the one life that we were coming for this so why do you have fear and why do you have doubt this is only now <laughs> yeah we are learning this huh to 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 be direct in the here and now and do what now is 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 to be done Mm. This was also uh, one of the lessons that we learned from this uh, togetherness here in Jerusalem. We had nice plans and wow, <laughs> each, uh, let's say each hour that there, there, there was suddenly something that uh, we have not planned and uh, which threw out um, all our hopes for that, for these plans. And uh, so we danced it uh, and did the best, uh, not waiting for a perfect moment, but did the best with uh, with what was available at any one moment. And the connection is established. Yeah. And both vertical and horizontal. Yeah. Both vertical and horizontal. Then. <laughs> yeah, we did something well, I think. We were pushed into that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. and in the meditation also when we were for a moment um just 
holding this this um, golden love in our group field to just let it settle and become stable and silent. I think this is really important. This stability, this this yeah, this silent stability. So it doesn't make waves. It's just there. So we are entering yet another year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hoping that it will not take again three years for us together in Jerusalem. We get to practice. Yeah. Yet another year in the past. Very special year. Mm -hmm. A lot of work, even more than before. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Yakata is really reminding us that it's the beginning of the new nine year cycle. We're entering the first year of the nine year cycle. And uh, it's sad that. Every nine years, hierarchy meets together to meditate on the plan, and that disciples, those on the periphery of the hierarchy, can join into this meditation. So let us be part of this hierarchical meditation through our work, through our service, and through our presence and silent mind. The past is too long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Enjoy. Yeah. Happy New Year. 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 Shana Toba. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Aloha. Happy New Year. <laughs> So until we meet again, Ahui Ho. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in Hawaii. Much love from Jerusalem. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Shalom. 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 With so much love to all of you. Yeah.